Hi, this is Kyle and I'm coming with you with a quick video of how to connect to Bioshock uh, from a couple different programs. The first thing we're going to do is MOBA Xterm. Now, I've already downloaded things, but if you just do a search for MOBA Xterm download in Google, first thing you're going to see is a some download pages. Uh, in this case, I got the portable version. You can feel free to install the installer version. It doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. Uh, if you're going to be on this machine a whole lot, I'd suggest doing the installer version. I already have it installed here, and that's going to download this file here, MOBA Xterm underscore portable version, whatever it is. So the first thing I want to do is I want to extract that, and that creates another folder underneath there, and there's my files. Now I can just run this MOBA Xterm personal. And the first time you run this, it's going to be pretty slow. It's going to go through a thermometer bar. It might take a minute or so because it's a, it's a fairly complicated program. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a session. And it's an SSH session. And the remote host name, this is all in our documentation, but it's hpc-login.wichita.edu. And we're going to specify a username here. And this username is going to be our WSUID all in lowercase. So in my case, that is, I'm going to copy and paste this in, Y698G262. And that should be all we really need to do here. There's some advanced things we can do on here if we want, but this will get us going. So, the, so then it says the uh, WSUID and then at uh, HPC login .edu, and it's looking for the password there. Again, I'm going to come and I'm going to paste my password. Most times you'd probably type your password here, but I'm just going to paste my password in here. You notice that there was no indication when I when I pasted that in there that anything was going on. It didn't put any stars on the screen, anything like that. This is one of the reasons I really like. Uh, MOBA Xterm over the other choices, though, is there is a, uh, a a file listing over here, and I can transfer files in and out of uh, of MOBA Xterm real quick. So uh, let's take this slurm out file here. I can take, I can drag it over, and put it in my downloads folder. So that's an output file from from uh, from Bioshock. If I wanted to take the PuTTY executable, I could take and I could drag and drop it over here, and it does and it does that. That's the easiest way I know of to get files in and out of Bioshock. Um, there are other ways of going about it, and we can talk about some of those a little later. But that is certainly the easiest. Then, when we're done, we can type exit, and it goes away. The screen goes away. Uh, press R to restart, S to save, or enter to, enter, to, enter to exit, R to restart. I'm just going to exit that so we have it there. And by default, it automatically saves that session that we created. So we now have HPC login, it already knows my username. So I could just double click that on the left side now. And again, put in my password, which I'm copying and pasting. I pasted it in. Again, nothing on the screen that indicates that there is anything being typed. But it does take it when I hit enter. Now I'm logged into HeadNote 01. And then you see my files on the left. Uh, basic file manager here. I can right click putty exe and delete it now because I really don't want it out on Bioshock. Um, and I can also do some big uh, editing of files. So I can open with default text editor. You can see uh, a problem that I had with a file that I, that I was dealing with there. I can edit that file, I save it, and it, and it will automatically re-upload that back to Bioshock again. So that is MOBA Xterm. The other one is for PuTTY. So if I do PuTTY download, do a search there, brings me to the download PuTTY page, and if I was to download the 64-bit uh, version of PuTTY, this is a 64-bit machine, um, I've already done it. So if I look at my downloads folder, I have this PuTTY. PuTTY runs all by itself. There's no installer. You can run the installer from the previous page if you want to run more than just PuTTY itself. But PuTTY itself is just a pretty simple program. Ah, it even remembered me from last time here. I forgot to do that. So when you come up, it won't have Bioshock on here. So I'm going to delete that one off of there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, 
put the, the host name is hpc login .wichita.edu. And I'm going to open that. This is the what happens the first time I connect to a host. I, I deleted this earlier so that it would, so it would uh, show me this again. Um, this is just saying that this is a fingerprint. So it's it's going to let you know if anything changes on the server. Right now I'm just going to say yes. And then it's asking for my username. So again, I put my username in. Ah! Helps if I paste using the right keystroke. Uh, Moba Xterm uses the middle keystroke to paste. Putty uses the right mouse click to paste. And so when I go from one to the other, I often get confused and, and use the wrong, and try to paste the wrong way. So there it is. Uh, again, I'm putting in my password. I just pasted it in there. Again, you don't see any indication that anything was going there, but it did take it because now it's letting me logged into Headnote 01. And now I, I can go ahead and type whatever I need to, but there is no file manager like there is with Moba Xterm. But the, you can see those are the same files that I had before. Now, I'm done with this session. I type exit, I get out, and Putty went away out of my toolbar down here. So I'm going to click on Putty again. And again, I'm going to say hpc-login.wichita.edu, except this time I want to save it. I want to save this as Bioshock. Save. And now I open it. Once again, it asks for my username. And it asks for my password. Again, no indication of anything showing up on the screen. I didn't get that pop up this time because it already knows what machine I'm talking to here. And it's perfectly happy with that. I'm now logged in to Bioshock. Now I'm going to exit one more time. And this time when I go back into Putty, instead of going through and typing everything up here, because I saved that last time, I can just double click on Bioshock and it's doing the same thing. It just it saved that shortcut for me so I don't have to do all this thing every time. So username, password again, no indication it's showing up, and I'm logged in. And from here I can do my uh, do any work on Bioshock that I need. And we can resize this too. We can make it big so we can see everything on one screen, that kind of thing. So that's how to that's how to use Putty and Moba Xterm. Now there is one more thing on Moba Xterm I want to show here, and that is the way that you would get to it if you are uh, on on a Mac or on a Linux box. Uh, those are all command line driven. So in Mac you would open up the terminal tool. Uh, on on uh, Linux you could open up any of the uh, terminals. So I'm going to create a session and it's just a shell session. This is going to basically be the same kind of interface I would see if I was logged into uh, uh, for, logged in from a Mac on a terminal or on a Linux machine from a terminal. And from there I can just type ssh hpc-login wichita.edu Oh, it says, I'm looking for the username temp. That's the account number. I, I created a temporary account on my machine so that I could do this re screen recording and not mess up my own sessions. Um, so that's not that's not what I want. So I'm going to control C. I have to tell it a username. So SSH and my username then is Y698G262 at hbc login .wichita.edu. And the password, again, I'm going to copy and paste that in. And again, it knows it, it's 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 now logged in. And I can do whatever I need to do. I can clear. I can list files. I can do whatever I need to do. Either uh, terminal uh, under Mac or any uh, any sort of Linux terminal, those will all 
worked pretty much the same thing. You SSH username at hpc-login.wichita.edu and then the password again doesn't show up on the screen as you're typing it as you saw but it does it does come through and that's basics on logging into uh, Bioshock. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helps you out.